All right, Alex, thank you. In general, happiness in the U.S. is declining. Last year, the country dropped from 15th to 23rd globally. So how can we start mm. being more happier even when we don't feel like it? Mm -hmm. Motivational speaker, executive coach, and friend of the show, Mr. Rich Bracken is back with us this morning. Rich, always great to see you. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a sad fact that America is not as happy as we used to be. What do you think makes up from this, uh, from a, from a psychological standpoint? Yeah, from a psychological standpoint, I think when we think about happiness, we think about that immediate dopamine hit of happiness. But uh, there have been studies that show that there are three different elements to true happiness, and that is enjoyment, satisfaction, and meaning. So when we think about enjoyment, it's not just that pleasure hit of dopamine, but it is actually two components. It's having people involved and having a core memory involved as well. Because when we chase those dopamine hits, they're short hits, mm -hmm. they're not memorable, they kind of move on. But when mm -hmm. you think about those times you've been truly happy, that core memory where you go back to that moment, you can think, feel, see everything clear as day. Whereas I can't remember the last time, like last Tuesday, what made me happy because there wasn't a core memory involved. Right. Interesting. What, do you, oh, yeah. what do you think is like impacting our happiness and creating that anxiety and how do we like prevent it? Yeah, I mean social media is the best and worst thing in the world, right? So so many times we use social media for the right reasons, but social media actually has a big d downturn on our happiness. You know, we're chasing other people's images, we're chasing other people's success that we see, or we're trying to find that acceptance from social media. So when we think about how that has caused not only the downturn of happiness, but also it's isolated us as a society. We're more connected, but more disconnected than we've ever been before. Because yeah. we're too busy looking at what's going on on our phones, and we're surrounded by people all over the place. So we need to spend more time connecting, having genuine connections and conversations with people, and not just head down and seeing what's next on the feed. Yeah. Uh, are there... Are there Quick ways, or there are there steps, and maybe an exercise that we can do to make ourselves feel happy, happier. Oh, there's tons of them. There's tons of them. You know me. I want to always give like the most valuable mm -hmm. ROI on your time as possible. So yeah. this morning alone, I did five of the seven that we're going to show on the graphic. I, I exercised. I listened to music. I did some. I meditated and spent some time on myself. And then also reached out to someone and said, "Hey, what can I do for you?" Now that person was T Pain. I don't know if he's going to get back to me. Which <laughs> side note, go see T Pain in concert. But you know, it's, it's that effort. It's that that hit that we have from a, from a happiness, true happiness standpoint, that we're trying to help and engage other people. Uh, paying it forward is a, another thing that you can do, where whether you're in a coffee line or somewhere else. But those times where we just reach out and genuinely connect with people, and then also with ourselves, because we don't take enough time for ourselves. We don't yeah. take enough time to invest in our self-care. We don't take enough time to just stop and slow down because we're so busy, we're so overworked, and we need to invest in ourselves more. Yeah, and you mentioned the phones. That was a good one because you said, put down your phones. I went to a Fantasia concert because you just brought up mm -hmm. T-Pain, mm -hmm. and she started her concert by saying, get your pictures, take them now, right. and go ahead and put them down and enjoy the concert. Like be in the moment. That's you fantastic. Know, to like feel the happiness and remember it all and so just. So I won't share my phone because I have lots of pictures and video of T Pain. So I, 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 I bucked that trend and went against it. And, but, it, but I agree, you know, and a lot of times psychological, psycho, psychologists will say if you're at a concert and you're filming, you'd forget the memory. It's not right. hitting as much as possible. So I was very mindful. Yes, there were some times that I wanted to catch the moment, but there were other times where I intentionally said, I'm not going to put my, I'm not going to get my phone out because I want to enjoy that moment. I want to have that core memory. And I'm telling you, this, that was an experience I will never forget. But we can also have those in the small moments, yeah. those great conversations with friends, family, what you can do to just sit and enjoy people and yourself and do those things that bring that core memory to the forefront. I like that. Yeah. Rich Bracken making a yeah. connection with T-Pain. I bet you never guess that one. <laughs> hey, for this segment right here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> great stuff. Rich, always great to see you. Thank always you so much. Well. Uh, if somebody in. would like uh, some questions, get more information about you and what you do, where can they find you? They can find me at richbracken.com. T-Pain, hit me up. They can find me at richbracken.com. All of my social media is on there. Everything you want to find on there, videos, content, podcasts, the whole nine yards. Okay. Sounds good. Awesome. Rich, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you.